In last tutorial, we have learned how to create marker in Google Maps Flutter. If you are new to Google Maps Flutter, make sure you check out to our Google Maps integration playlist for installation and configuration tutorial before you continue. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to create polygon and polyline in Google Maps Flutter. Let's start with polygon. Polygon is mainly used to flag an area in Google Maps as shown in the emulator. You will need at least three coordinates to create the polygon. For example, if you want to flag a certain area not available to your app user, you can consider creating polygon. Before we dive into the code, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. So in my code base, I will be continuing from last changes in the previous video which we had created the marker. Now in order to create polygon in Google Map Flutter, we need to create a set of polygon variable to store the polygon object. Each polygon object requires a polygon ID as unique identifier. So I will provide a random string as polygon ID. Next, we need to provide points which are the coordinates that used to form the polygon on map. Coordinates in Flutter is represented by let long object. So here, I will be creating four coordinates. As of now, we have completed our polygon set. Coming back to Google Map widget, there is a parameter called polygons. Now assign the polygon set that we have created to the polygons parameter. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see, this is how the polygon looks from the points provided. From the polygon object parameter, by default, the polygon color is set to black and the stroke width is set to 10. Now I will change the fill color to red with opacity so that it won't cover the map under the polygon area. Stroke color will be changed to red and stroke width will set to 2. Now let's try out in the emulator. So as you can see, the polygon now looks more UI friendly. This is how you create polygon in Google Map Flutter. So we have completed creation of polygon in Google Map Flutter. Now I will be showing you how to create polyline as shown in the emulator. Polyline mainly used when you wanted to show specific routes to your app user. You will need at least two coordinates to create any polylines. For example, in my emulator, I have provided three coordinates and Google Map SDK will create the polyline moving from first to the end. Now let's dive into the code. I will be continuing from the last code changes where we created polygon. Firstly, same as creation of polygon, create a set of polyline variable. This variable will be used to store polyline object.
Each polyline object requires a polyline ID as unique identifier. Additionally, this object provides many customization that you can add for the polyline. So here I will provide a sample string as the polyline ID. Next, we need to provide points. Points is where we add the coordinates that we wanted to draw the polyline. This points parameter takes a list of flat long object as coordinates. So here, I will provide three let long objects. You just need to modify these points accordingly to your needs. Coming back to Google Map widget, there is a parameter called polylines. Assign the polyline set object that we have created to this parameter. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see, a polyline has created in the Google Map widget. Now if you look into the polyline object, the polyline color is set to black and the width is set to 10 by default. To customize the polyline, you just have to override these parameter values. Now I have set the polyline color to blue and width to 4. Let's try it out again. Now this is how the customized polyline looks. In conclusion, this is how you create polygon and polyline in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.